So we got a two mission operation, demolition and war zone. We got a defense and an assassination. All right. All right. Might as well do the assassination for the independence first. And then we'll go work for Merrick, which sadly we're doing the same thing with Liao, where like Merrick fucking hates us. And it's going to be a waste of our time. Uh, Kaiwa, it's an uh, upgrade tree for... So as you do Cantina missions, you'll up... Your oh, bleep, bleep, bleep. I can words. You will unlock upgrades. And so here, you can go to upgrades on a mech, and all of the stuff that you unlock, you can then equip to mechs. And it costs money and time, but you can give your mech little buffs, like energy cooldown, ballistic cooldown, weapon damage, that kind of stuff. So that's, that's what that is. Yeah, we never did actually put together the new loadout for this damn 4P. So, like, it said we didn't have the weapon systems, but we obviously do have the weapon systems. We just didn't at the time. All right, there we go. Now Hunchback Squad can roll. Uh, I want you, fire engine. And, oh, we can take 270, so maybe Hunchback Squad is not the best idea. If they're giving us 270, then we, we definitely need to be taking some heavier mechs. I say that, we don't actually have that many heavier mechs. We're, we are soundly within the medium mech category. Uh, no, you, you get the stalker because you got the missiles. And we'll give you the Kentaro. Alright, let's see how this lands fares. We'll see how it fares. We definitely need to start getting some heavier mechs. The only problem that we're having is, like, we can't salvage any heavier mechs because all of the decent heavy and assault mechs that we're coming across, we don't have the salvage shares to pick them up because everywhere that we're working, the clients fucking hate us. Even though we're doing all this work for them, they still hate us. It's like, guys, what what do you what do you want me to do? It's we like I don't understand. Like, we were doing all of this work for Merrick against Liao, so Liao hates us, but now Merrick hates us too. And now we're in Merrick territory doing work for them against Liao, but Merrick still hates us, and it's like, what? I don't understand. Let me, let me, let me just go ahead and get on to you now. Take him out, boys. He's mostly dead already. Like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better look at the other locations. I'm not going to pretend like I'm surprised at that. Whoops. Where the hell are those missiles coming from? Come here, goddammit. Did y'all finally take care of that Vulcan back there? Or am I gonna have to go back and do that?
guys, it's an urban mech. It's an urban mech, you guys. Copy. The commander's target is our target. It took y'all that long to take out that Vulcan? Are you serious right now? Alright, where are the other areas? I guess we should check this area out first, since it's a little bit closer. We'll head up the hill, check this guy out. fair. I, I would also be afraid of any size mech if I were infantry. Uh, thankfully, well, okay, I say thankfully. There is, in fact, an official mod from Piranha that adds infantry to the game, but my understanding is that it basically adds a whole layer of difficulty to a lot of missions and does, like, you... There's not a payoff for it. Like, you don't really get anything for it. It's just... All of a sudden, you'll just get rocked by infantry and have no idea where it's coming from. So the general consensus is folks are not super thrilled with the infantry mod. Man, that AMS putting in the work. Surprise, motherfucker! Man, that- that is an armored-ass leg! So, the targets are not here? I'm not gonna spend too much time messing around with you guys. It's gonna take 10 minutes for my people to take out one Jenner, so in the meantime, I'll head towards the objective. Enemy mech destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Tell you what though, one thing I've noticed about this this particular version of Battletech is uh I don't know who it is exactly that's in the turret making business, but that dude has gotta be making money. Cause I shit you not, they got these turrets like every ten feet out here on every battlefield. Like I don't know who's making turrets, but that dude is living large. As you can't walk five damn meters without running into another turret. Yeah, exactly, Maximus. Everywhere on every damn planet. Like, turrets outnumber native animal populations on most planets. Shit, they almost outnumber the trees. It's kind of ridiculous. Take out that Wolverine, please. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Oh, look at that. They put it in an aircraft control tower. Excellent finds, Commander. Beginning with Guys. Guys, can you handle a single Wolverine? Do you need my help with that too? Component lost. I, I t I'll take that as a yes. Hi 
Bye, guys. Okay, there goes the rifleman. Oh shit, it's a Black Knight, Chet. I just need to let my... I, I'm basically just hiding out behind him real quick. I'm gonna see... Let's... I'm gonna take him apart. Because what I want is something salvageable. I want him to be salvageable, but I want him to be salvageable by us. So there we go. Basically, I took all of his parts off so that at least, if it's there on the salvage list, we might be able to salvage the damn thing. Okay, is that it? Are we done? Uh oh. And that's the end of the longbow. Yeah, I did that to me. That's what I get for fighting somebody that had a flamer. I mean, you're not wrong, Kaiwa. I would love for the dice to roll in our favor so that I can actually get my hands on a black. That, that would make me very happy. Now, where is the damn extract? Oh, over here. Okay, we're headed the wrong direction. You, On me, everybody. Let's get the fuck out of here. I am very, very curious to see if we're gonna get that Black Knight. I really hope that we do. I mean, most of my mechs have seen better days. The AI is kind of shit. I... I... I have ceased being surprised when my mechs get shredded. I mean, I took max shares, and my hope is that we... I, I'm hoping that I tore down the Black Knight enough that we'll have enough shares to get it without completely destroying it. Yeah, the lance is definitely heavier than last you saw, Sierra. Are you fucking serious? Look at this shit. I swear, the game does this on purpose. It does this shit on purpose. Like, yeah, I get that it's a 75 ton mech. There's only about 20 tons of that mech left. The, I, again, the game clearly does this shit on purpose just to piss me off. It's very successful in that regard. Very fucking successful in that regard. Uh, let's see. The stalker lost one of its side panels. Let's... Since... Since we're apparently having issues with weapon systems, let me make sure that it's actually going to repair everything. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, well... Fuck it, I'll put in a tier zero medium laser, I don't care. Oof. Almost three million? Nah. I think the Kintara is going on the back burner for a little while. In the meantime, we got another Hunchback we- or I'm sorry, another Centurion that we can sell. Huh. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the archer in cold storage for now so we can save on storage costs. We will put the archer back together at some point, maybe. Possibly. Maybe not. Yeah, I got the tier 2's blend aid, but my whole thing is, again, I give the AI low tier stuff because of how often they get their stuff completely blown up. Like, if I go and put a bunch of tier 3 and tier 4 medium lasers in this Kentaro, they're just gonna get destroyed. So I would rather save those higher tier weapons either for later in the campaign or save them for myself. Um, yeah, we do have a longbow. We we have ourselves a longbow here. I haven't done much with it because we have a stalker and it's actually in better shape than the longbow, but I mean, maybe the longbow wouldn't be a bad choice. I just, it's going to be very expensive to fix it. And again, we're, we're not in great shape financially. See, like, this is, this is my thing. If you notice, and I could be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Our reputation with Merrick went fucking down. Like... We just did a mission for them, and we succeeded, and our reputation went down. And even this, like, it, it, it boggles the mind. I don't understand. Because I'm pretty sure that our reputation was in the 80s. And now we're at minus 90 with Merrick, even though we just completed a mission for them. It's, if there's one frustrating thing for me about MechWarrior 5, it's that. Coming from Battletech, where I can control every unit and have total control, and I can, you know, make the correct tactical decisions, use long-range firepower as it's intended, things like that, and then to put the, the bees mechs in the hands of the AI, where they're just like, yeah, I'm in a stalker and I've got all LRMs, but I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna go charge in and attack from 50 meters away. But anyway, we gotta get back into it. We gotta continue to make money. We're doing a defense mission here. Um, we're gonna be over tonnage on this. So maybe we bring out Hunchback Squad again. I keep forgetting who gets which. Okay, you get the 4J because missiles. Ah, uh, you get the 4P because lasers. You get the H because ballistic. And I get the 4G because gauss. And Fitzpatrick has injuries. Well, that's okay. Because the mission starts in 61 days. We could ditch you. For someone else? Question mark. Nah, we'll wait it out. It's fine. Enemy forces have broken into Hunchbacks, let's roll out. And now threaten the facilities at North Point Alpha. We are the closest forces in a position to intercept, so let's move out. I mean, we're almost two kilometers away. Are you sure we're the closest forces? We're certainly not the fastest, I can tell you that much. But clearly, they're desperate.
But you know, every time I'm in a hunchback and I'm thinking to myself, man, I wish this thing went faster. I just think to myself, at least it's not an urban mech. Could you imagine having to cover this distance at half this speed? And that would be a goddamn tragedy. Is this place in a crater? Or, like, is the checkpoint just a... some spot in the middle of nowhere? Okay, I guess there is a base or a facility or whatever this is. Looks like we found a place, Commander. Okay. Welcome, mercenary. We're grateful you decided to take our contract, and not a moment too soon. We're detecting enemies on the approach as we speak. Let's Crikey. Your price tag. Now fan out and take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. I mean, I'm, I would like to think I'm worth our price tag, I just don't know if the collateral damage is going to be worth our price tag. Copy. FYI. There we go. I knew I saw something out there. Now if only I had a higher zoom level. Let's see how accurate she is. I feel like there was some drop on that. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. Yeah, there's very clearly some inaccuracy in this that I'm not sure where it comes from. Because I'm not moving. Target, destroyed. Target, acquired. Target acquired. Oh, there's a victor. Oh, there's there's more than a victor. Roger, focusing target. It definitely works. It definitely works. And it does appear to be hit scan. Yeah, there's a little bit of delay. Little bit of delay. Enemy mech forces spotted operating in the area. Watch out for them. Large targets engaged. Let's see, let's see how we can do against the victor. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Almost. There we go, there we go. Again. There's, there's some very weird stuff going on with the Gauss, in my opinion. Very weird stuff going on with the Gauss. At least that's the way it feels to me. I, I, like, I understand why they might not want to make it as accurate as it probably should be. Because if you were even halfway decent as at aim, like, you would be a menace with a Gauss rifle if it was perfectly accurate. But it's still kind of frustrating.
Whenever y'all are ready, guys. There we go. Good lord. What the hell? A cataphract, eh? Haven't seen one of those. In a 4J hunchback? I kinda- I'm kinda just putting the barrel up to his face. Man, that feels good. When it works, it feels good. It really does. It's just getting that shot that's a little rough. Hey, buddy. Doink! Additional hostiles have been oh, three more. Where are they? Where are they at? Alright, what do we get? A big boy? We got another victor. A griffin. We'll give him the business. Yeah. Uh oh. And let's create gifting a sub this time to Digital Arc Studio. Digital Arc, good to have you back in the cult of bad tactical decisions. And Let's Creek, thank you so much for the gifted sum. You guys do not have to do that, but I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for the gift sum. And again, glad to have you guys back in the cult. Let's see. Oop, to snoot. No? Man. There we go. Man, I, again, that spread. That's all right. All right, who's behind me? You again, another Griffin? Again, I, I give you points for for your for your diligence. You are a brave and and definitely determined individual. Go into the darkness. Well done, Commander. The area is secure. All right, there we go. And I see you, General Quarters. Hydration income. Yeah, I'm blended. You're not wrong. And again, that's. That's kind of the whole point of, like, the AI is really terrible. Where it's like, you know that mech is not built to operate at that range, typically, right? Especially not with that particular loadout. And the game's like, yeah, but... Close combat. <sighs> so once again, both victors. Both victors. Even one got cored and one got headshotted. Both are outside of our range, so we have to take a griffin instead. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now let's see. If I go to contracts now... Okay, there we go. Merrick actually went up this time. It's 88 now. I, I have no idea how we ended up with such low reputation with them to start out with. It's actually kind of strange. Alright, so Hunchback Squad has seen better days, but we didn't actually take that much damage. All things being equal. Hmm. 
Destroyed weapons and equipment, AC-10. Alright. So, are you trying to tell me that we... Okay, we don't have enough AC-10 ammo. Outstanding! How about now? Is This is that other thing, where it's like, again, the computer getting stuff blown up all the time. There we go. And that'll take care of that. So that'll get Hunchback Squad put back together. Um, this griffin we're gonna sell. Cause, don't need it. Hey, let me see. Star map, what do you... Okay, yeah, I get it. The mission's up here. I, I understand. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look at operations, see if there's any other, like, if there are other mission missions that are nearby. Let's track this no pilot left behind. Because I think we were looking at this, and the difficulty for me was a little suspect, if I remember correctly. Maybe if we put together our heavier stuff. I mean, the Kentaro's gonna have to wait. The Stalker, though, I think we can put back together without too much trouble. Yeah, there we go. Only 44 more missions of Narek and we can be neutral. Yeah, I don't understand why our reputation with every faction is so bad. I mean, I think we just, we have to start focusing down some of these narrative missions because, like, we're not getting enough reputation, we're not getting enough experience, we're not, you know, we're just not getting enough of anything uh, to really progress, and it's taken a long time. Alright, AFP, well, glad to have you. Glad you could join us on this Saturday stream. Hopefully you had a good time. And uh, I wish you a wonderful rest of your Saturday and weekend. Hopefully we will catch you on the next one. And if not, stay safe. Yeah, this is a 60 war zone, which I was a little bit worried about, but... I think we just go in and do it anyway. To hell with it. Because we really do need, like, a ret boost or something. We need something. Because it just feels like we're not progressing quickly enough. I maybe, maybe the intent with the game is that we're supposed to spend, you know, 80 hours just grinding through random missions, but it feels like that's not the intent. And I could be wrong. It just feels like maybe that's not what the, the developers intended for the game. Uh, we have injuries, that's fine. We'll wait out the injuries. We're still under ton, but I'm gonna go ahead and we'll run it, because this is, this is pretty much the best lance we can put together right now. So I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna hope that this will be enough. Try to help your allies under siege clear off existing enemy forces. I mean, that's... That's pretty much the one thing that we're actually good at, so... Let's do it. We believe we've got the actual location of Shenzhen Sun. There is a heavily guarded prison complex, but fortunately for us, pirates are rather single-minded. If we stage a diversion, we should be able to draw away enough troops for our support teams to extract the prisoners. Take him out, boys. I mean, that wasn't a mech, that was a helicopter, but all right. Trib on trib action! The difference is I'm built for close range and you aren't, which is unfortunate for you. Is that it?
Oh, no. Clearly there's something else over here. You guys are shooting at something. What are y'all shooting at? Excuse me? Oh, just random tank out of nowhere. Alright. So what you're telling me is we're gonna have to blow everything up. And again, just happens to be the one thing I'm really good at. In fact, the only thing I'm better at blowing up than the enemy is my own people. Ow. Engaging shared target ID. Target destroyed. All guns on shared target. Wrecked. Wrecked in me. There we go. Ah. Uh, appear to be bringing in additional reinforcements. Okay. Again, a direction would be nice. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Oh! We got an Orion, we got a Crusader. Why, why have I suddenly drawn all the attention? What did I do? What did I do? Why am I so popular all of a sudden? Get legged, nerd! Heat critical. Destroyed that mech. You think we'll actually get a chance to salvage an Orion on this mission? Because I bet we don't. It'd be nice if we could, though. But we still got ten more enemies to kill, Rihanna, so... Again, if you could point me in the right direction... That would be very helpful. Oh, it's a Zeus. We're on it, Commander. It's a Zeus. Focus fire on Commander's target. I think I think let's hang back a little bit. Let's take out the lighter weenies first, because that Zeus is gonna be pretty slow. It's gonna take him a little while. So let's let's see if we can mop up the chaff before the Zeus makes contact. Oh, you're gonna be losing more than that, buddy. Alright. There's the Zeus. What? What is this man's gag going on? Oh shit. My bad. Yeah, he's, he's, he's having a bad time. We're gonna get him, Chad. We're gonna get him. Get wrecked, nerd! Kneecap this donkey! I did this to me. No one to blame but myself. I we did have some kind of a dropship landing over here. Yeah, you're not wrong, Dizzy Buttons. And again, Rihanna is not quite Darius, but he's... He, she's pretty fucking close. Engaged. Oh, that's a Centurion. No thank you. No thank you. I gave it the office.
No, thank you. You go, boy. The little trib that could. Surprise, motherfucker. And then that panther ceased to be. Don't worry, buddy. I haven't forgotten about you. I just needed to take care of your friend first. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. I mean, you're suddenly without an auto cannon. Also, to the surprise of probably no one, the stalker has gotten itself fucked up because he decided to go running directly into close combat. Where are they at? Again, Rihanna, a direction would be nice. North, south, east, west, up, down, left, right, something, anything. Alright, that takes care of the VTOLs. Now I saw what looked like a heavy or assault mech out there somewhere. Oh, a javelin. Oh no! Our trip buddy, he finally went down. And it is another battle master which we will never be able to get our hands on. Lay into him. Ow! You're kind of a butthole, you know that? That's why I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna kneecap you. Hit me, Cap Nerd. That's bad. That's bad. There we go. There we go. And I didn't lose the arm. I got real goddamn close, though. No additional sea bills, donkeys. Get out of here. Been playing BTA while I watch. I'd like to share something with the class. Uh, okay, I uh, give me just a second for us to actually get to the out here, and then uh, and then I'll I'll give you. Pro I assume you want to share a link. All right, Commander. We got them. We've extracted Shenzhen's son and several other prisoners from the complex. The plan worked. Ah, uh, let's see. There we go. There's permission for links, EW. Well, we're almost to rank 10 on our reputation. Almost there. I don't know if that's like where we need to get for our reputation. Uh, let's see. Thank you for what you've done for me. I know you simply accepted the contract, but I owe you a life debt for saving my son from a terrible fate. 
In order to pay off his life debt, he would like to humbly offer his services as a pilot. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know how I feel about a Kapalan, but a pilot's a pilot. And now, Fahad wants to speak to us. Hey, boss what do you man. Keeping me and the crew real busy lately. Glad to see the contracts rolling in. Not that. Doing a bloody good job too, gotta say. Just one thing though, you and your fellow pilots might want to dodge the enemy's fire a little bit, all right? We're running triple shifts after some of these jobs. And I know, I know you're doing your level best under the circumstances. I get that, I do. It ain't easy. All I'm saying is, try to bring the mechs home with all their limbs still attached. That's not too much to ask, is it? No, it isn't, mate. It's pretty bloody reasonable, I think. Well, there you go. Some friendly advice on the house, Gov. Gonna get back to work now. Catch you later. So it's funny you should mention that, but I, I was actually just talking about the same thing recently when the pilots, uh, as, as you may have noticed, a lot of mechs come back without limbs. Um, I don't know if you've noticed this about me. My mechs always come back with their limbs. God damn it. So maybe it's not me you should be talking to. Maybe it's the other jackasses. The ones who literally can't go and take out a single javelin without losing an arm, a leg, and half their cock at armor. Last I checked, I'm not the fucking problem here. What do you want me to do? Fire everybody and do the missions by myself? Fuck's sake. And another thing. You get paid to fix mechs. So stop bitching about having to do your job. Fucking limey prick. Side chat. Tiger got out of the cage a little bit there. Hey, Commander. Thanks to Spears' people, we now know we're somewhere within Inferno's current sphere of operations. However, we still haven't been able to pinpoint the location of their base. What we have learned is the name of the man who killed your father. The leader uh, now the this, Inferno. this is a hologram Names I can get interested Andreas in. Kane. He was loyal to one of the Marik factions for a while, making a nasty name for himself. He was responsible for several massacres as well. Of course, that was before he struck out on his own and set up shop as a mercenary. After that, his trail runs cold. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot we still don't know, like how Inferno became as big as they are, or who their current benefactor is. Andreas Kane. When we find him, Rihanna, I'm gonna tear him and his mech limb from limb. I have no doubt. No, 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 no. no. We but want, we, we want this mech. First. This I've mech, scanning the good mech. For any We're not gonna tear it limb from limb. I want now, this ten mech. Ten minutes ago, I picked up a distress call from a nearby port city. They have come under successive attacks by a mercenary group, and are asking for immediate help. Sound familiar? Sure does. The distress call had this image embedded in the transmission. It's a map of the city and port. I think it's best if I drop you down here, just outside this farm. You can this doesn't look like a map, the Brianna. City itself and ensure that it's protected. The port is it nearby, looks like purple jello. Here. That's where I'll pick you up once the this is a red box. This is not a map, Questions? Brianna. What am I... Nope. Plan sounds good. All right. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be getting from this. Monitoring the situation. Roger that. God damn it. Hey look, increase our reputation. We just got done doing that. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's have a look at this pilot at least. Uh actually he's he's not terrible. He's never going to be a superstar, but he's got a lot of skill. Like, he, he's got pretty high levels in every skill. This guy's actually pretty good. Assuming he doesn't get blown up. Alright, let's see. What do we get? Um, we got to repair our mags, first of all. 
make sure nobody well okay the stalker got parts blown off so we'll have to make sure that we fix that up and surprise surprise we're missing vital weapon systems so you get the crappy tier zero medium lasers now on account of you seem to be incapable of functioning without getting your weapon systems blown off so i'm gonna give you the not good stuff Higher tier weapons are a privilege, not a right, okay? When you when you prove that you can use tier zero weapons and not get them blown up every single mission, then perhaps I'll consider upgrading the tiers on these weapons for you. Until then, suck less. Alright. So the Kentaro, we still haven't put back together. That's, again, I think we'll go to an industrial hub for that. Um, I'm debating on whether to keep the griffin anymore. Then again, we got the fires. I mean, we don't... We can keep them in cold storage. It doesn't cost us anything to do that. You're not wrong, Dizzy. They're, they're very unlikely to ever get to tier one. And Hound, you, you might have the right of it. it. It might be a matter of... Let's just outfit the entire company with chargers. And I'll just sit in the back with, like, I don't know, a gauss something. And, and direct the chaos. Anyway. Chan, it's getting late. And I told you guys before, I was a little tired today. So I think I'm gonna call the stream here. Um, I know it's a little earlier than when we typically end the stream, but, uh, I kind of just want to go lay down for a little bit and, and rest my eyes. It's, uh, I, I'm, I'm still a little bit tired. Yeah, finding better pilots will definitely help. And, and I think that's, you know, again, getting into the barracks and... We, we had some pretty bad pilots there for a while, but like Slade, I think we need to get rid of. Uh, I think we need to start raising our standards because if the maximum on all skills is 60, then I think we gotta, you know, we gotta set a standard and say, you know, at least be at 35 to 40 on your potentials. So, I don't know. But all things in time, our pilots have to stop dying in order for us to get them to a point where they can get their skills up. But let's go ahead and drop a save. As we do. And we'll head back to the office. Ugh. But yeah, I, again, I'm, I'm going to call it here at this point. Um, it's been fun, as always. Again, we, we managed to write back from a little... Well, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say that last stream was a disaster, but... We, we certainly got ourselves into some trouble in terms of taking more damage than we needed to, spending more money than we needed to. I'd say we've done a little bit better job of, of maybe not getting into that kind of stuff this time. Uh, but we're still, we're still kind of on the line there. We're not making as much money as I'd like. And, uh, we're, we're having some issues where, you know, a lot of the, the good salvage that we really want to get especially the heavy mechs and the assault mechs, we're not able to get them because the factions that we're working for just don't like us enough. Um, so maybe I need to, you know, I, I might need to look into how the game reputation system works and how we need to, wh what we need to do to increase our reputation with the factions so that we can get some better salvage. Because if the, if the best mechs that we can salvage are going to be, you know, medium mechs that are completely cored out and blown up, and then we have to spend four million C bills putting them back together. Then at that point, there's no there's no benefit to salvage, as opposed to just buying Max brand new. So I I don't know. I'll have to look at at better ways to increase the combat effectiveness of the company. But that that'll be that'll be for next time, or maybe in the interim. Maybe I'll look into it in between streams over the course of the week. We'll see. But either way. Uh, thank you guys for everybody coming out today and hanging out in the stream. Thank you for joining me. 
Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna close things out. I do appreciate you hanging out with us. Or no, there we go. So again, thank you guys so much for joining me on your Saturday. Again, uh, you know, the world is a roller coaster of challenges, and we don't have a lot of time on this planet, so I appreciate you taking the time to spend with me and this community on your Saturday. Again, your your time and your life is precious. And so every moment that you choose to spend here means something to me. And I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so, so much. For those of you that subbed and resubbed and gifted and donated and all that, thank you guys so much for supporting me, supporting the stream and supporting this community. You do not have to do that. And you're too good to me to give me that, that kind of support. Never forget that you just have to show up. Just being here is enough. That's all it takes for me to know that this entire endeavor is worth it. So thank you guys again for the support, whether whether you supported financially or just hung out in the back and enjoyed the stream. That's all that matters. So thank you guys. As always, you can catch me over on the Twitter machine to stay updated on the stream and on me in general. You can also join the fan discord by hitting the, the exclamation discord in the chat. And join us over there at the home away from home for the cult of bad tactical decisions. And of course, you can also find the VODs for this, as well as some other odd content since I just posted a video over on the YouTubes. In case you missed the stream, and in case Twitch doesn't want to help you out with that. But of course, I want to close out the stream, like I always do, by reminding you that your life has value. And that the world is a better place with you in it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. And I'll see you next time.